Hello, my name is Charles Potter and I am the chair of the BC Road Builders Bridge Committee. To open, I'd like to thank Kelly Scott, Matt Pitcairn and Roxanne LeClaire for all of their help for taking care of the logistics to make sure our meetings happen, as well as for attending committee meetings and coordinating the committee's dealings with the board of the BC Road Builders. This past year has been nice to be able to get out of COVID restrictions, meet with all the participants in person, share a meal, and have a lively discussion. I'd also like to thank the ministry staff for taking the time to meet with us twice per year. Rodney Chapman, Carl Lutz, Justin Bay, Ian Baker, Sarah Gabe, Rodrigo Desenge, and Alariza Amednia. All these individuals travel from far and wide to meet with us, are engaged, professional, open-minded, and are willing to work with us to achieve common goals. We certainly appreciate the time that they take to meet with us. I should also mention that in, in addition to meeting with ministry staff, we also met with the Association of Consulting Engineers to discuss common issues, challenges, and goals related to bridge infrastructure in BC. And finally, I'd like to thank my fellow committee members who also put in a significant effort to make our meetings useful and productive. Lyle Johnson, Brian Atwell, Chris Clark, and Patrick Wilson. As mentioned, we meet with ministry staff two times per year, spring and fall, for most of the day. These meetings are very productive and we have a long list of agenda items to address and discuss. Some of the major issues discussed this past year have been the progress of large projects such as the Patella Bridge and George Massey projects as well as lessons learned from the significant flooding that occurred throughout BC last November and all the emergency repairs performed and completed by BC Road Builder member companies. In terms of some of the specific issues we've been working on include guiding principles for oversight and involvement of project ministry representatives and cost escalation clauses in contracts for significant cost increases in concrete, steel, labour and equipment. So we look forward to future meetings as a group with ministry staff as well as members of the ACEC. Thank you and happy holidays.